Anthony, the biggest hike in interest rates by the Fed in nearly 30 years is a jarring headline, but today's three quarters of a point increase was expected by many financial experts. Still, what does that mean for all the rest of us? That depends on your current housing situation. Are you looking to buy a house or maybe you've lived in your home for years? On your side's Rich Donnelly found out that the increase in interest rates could affect more than just first time home buyers. It's a direct response to the highest inflation that our country's seen in more than 40 years. But today's announcement by the Federal Reserve to increase interest rates by their highest level in nearly three decades has a direct effect on you as well. Inflation has caused increased prices for gas, groceries and other goods. These new interest rates will affect housing, specifically people looking for a home loan. For those that are looking to enter the market, uh, it's going to cost them a little bit more. Ed Gaston is the chief operating officer for Wealth Watchers, a Jacksonville based housing counseling and community development organization. Gaston says higher interest rates will affect more people than just first time home buyers. So if you're looking at a home equity line or a second mortgage, yes, you're going to be paying more for that money. Not only is it going to impact the cost of mortgages, but also small business loans. Uh, it's going to increase the cost of what it takes a bank to get money to put it on the street. And if you're worried about your own personal finances and unsure about your ability to buy or even maintain your home, Wealth Watchers offers a variety of classes for people in our area. Not only do we do one-on-one -on -one counseling, but we also do virtual classes, and that's for home buyers and homeowners. Our services are core to home ownership. Because even though interest rates are being raised by the Fed in Washington, D.C., Gaston and Wealth Watchers are concerned about people living in Jacksonville. A healthy economy is based on home ownership and housing. So we have to make certain that housing and home ownership is healthy. Reporting in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.